Hello and welcome. My name is Andrew Hoglum with Direct Business Marketing. Welcome to today's webinar. Today we're going to talk about video. Um, we believe that leads love video, that the more video you have, um, especially in a service industry, you'll convert uh, more visitors to your website um, into leads. So today we're going to talk about specifically um, where to post your videos and some tips and tricks in posting those videos and how you can post them. So we talked about um, in the earlier episodes of this, uh, this series, we talked about why video works. Um, we also talked about the type of camera you should get and how to record your videos. You know, the fact that the video shouldn't be very long, a couple minutes long at most. Um, so we talked about all those things. So go back to the archives and view those webinars. Um, so today we're going to specifically talk about where you can post the videos. So uh, the obvious one is the number one on the list is YouTube. That's the most obvious place to post your videos. Um, YouTube.com, set up an account. Um, YouTube is owned by Google, um, so you'll get your videos will get indexed pretty quickly, and uh, they'll be searchable fairly quickly. So. I would say if, if you only have time to post your videos in one place, um, you know, focus on YouTube. Um, for most of our um, projects that we work on for clients, YouTube is actually the only place we post videos. It's so popular and so widely used um, that it's kind of the only place. Um, that's our number one place, if you will. Next on the list I posted, I put Viddler. Now we leverage Viddler a lot of times for videos that are longer than YouTube's limit of 15 minutes. Um, depending on your account, actually, it's either 10 minutes or 15 minutes. But we leverage Viddler because Viddler um, only has a file size limit and not a time limit. Um, and I believe currently Viddler is 100 megabytes or 500 megabytes, excuse me, for the video size. So if you use compression tools and that sort of thing, you can actually compress the video down and um, and have. We've had hour, two hour long. Um, videos posted on Viddler. Okay, so Viddler is another good, good place to post. Um, number three and number four on the list here are Yahoo Video and Daily Motion. These are two other common places to post video, um, and you know I would encourage you to check those out and, and see if you can create accounts there and post video there. Um, but like I said, uh, I would focus on YouTube um, as kind of your main source and you know consider posting to other places. Now there are, all, there are tools out there um, that allow you to post your video to many places at one time and you can look into those tools. We don't leverage them very often. We focus mostly on YouTube but you know that is something to, to consider um, is to use some of those other tools that are out there. So next today I want to talk about some tips and tricks in posting your video. Um, so there's three main things that you're going to use when you post your video. There's the title, the description, and the tags to your video. Now remember that uh, search engines such as Bing and Yahoo and, and Google um, currently can't, don't listen to your whole video and know what you're talking about. There's some rumblings that they might listen to a few seconds and try to identify some words. Um, in all of our tests we haven't seen that to be um, insanely true, not like um, if you have a couple good words that it's going to pop number one to Google or anything like that. But um, Google you leverages mostly the text around the video to identify what the video is about. And specifically on YouTube, it uses the title and the description and the tags to really know what your video is and what, what you're talking about. So here's a kind of a tip for creating a title when you're creating the title to your video. You know, most people come up with like a witty title or even a, um, you know, actually a backup. The worst case scenario is if you leave the title the default of when you upload your video. A lot of times it's just the name of your file, like, you know, um, video123.mov, you know, please, please, please change the title from that. You know, and, uh, you know, then the next thing people do is just kind of name their title something witty. You know, let's say I'm a realtor and I'm doing... Um, posting a, a, a video walkthrough of one of my homes. You know, I might title the video, video walkthrough. Well, that doesn't do really anybody any good. So be descriptive with the titles to your videos. And then the next thing to consider is we put a vertical bar 
and then a key phrase after the title to the video. Still in the title, um, so let's say I'm doing a, a using my scenario, I'm doing a walkthrough of a home, um, and let's say that home's address is 123 Main Street in Chandler, Arizona. So I, I might say, you know, video walkthrough, 123 Main Street, Chandler, and then I might put a space, a vertical bar, and then I put Chandler Homes for Sale. Okay, so I'm putting a key phrase in my title um, when I'm posting my video. The next thing to do is with your description. In your description, you want to make sure you put a link um, to your actual website in the description. And don't just put your domain, so like for direct business marketing, don't just put directbusinessmarketing.com because YouTube won't know that that's a link. You need to include the HTTP colon slash slash part of the URL. And so if you just put that HTTP colon slash slash your URL like directbusinessmarketing.com into the top line of your description, um, Google or YouTube I should say will actually link that, make that a hot link then. Now, one thing we like to do is not to link directly to our home page. But if you actually have a blog or a place where you're posting these videos as well, so let's say you're posting to YouTube and you're embedding the video onto your website. Now this is common practice and we encourage everybody to do this. Um, and this will take a little forward planning is you actually create the page so you know the URL and you put that page's URL into the description. So not your home page, but the page specifically to where you're posting your video. So that's something that we found that can help from time to time. And then write one to two paragraphs about your video. Um, you know, use keywords where possible. Um, I've seen some descriptions that are writing like a book. You know, that's kind of ridiculous. No one's going to read that. Um, I know you can keyword stuff it, but you know, we haven't found that that's been very helpful. It's time consuming, but it hasn't been very helpful. You know, I would suggest, you know, writing one to two paragraphs, you know, maybe 50 words um, about your video to get some good keywords and good description around what your video is. <clears throat> then the third thing is tags. Always include tags with your video. We tend to make the first tag the actual username of our account. So, you know, our YouTube, one of our YouTube's accounts is, um, you know, Business Marketing TV One. Um, that's one of our YouTube accounts. So we'll make the actual one of the tags that username. And that tends to make it so when related videos are shown that a lot of times, it's not a foolproof option, but a lot of times all of our videos are shown as related videos. Um, and then make sure you put some other descriptive tags, um, um, specific tags for that video and then general tags for, for overall. So if we use my real estate example, um, if I'm doing a, a, a walkthrough, I might put you know, a uh, home walkthrough is one of my tags, but I'd also want to put one of my tags as 123 Main Street and Chandler Homes for Sale, those types of things. Okay, so just to recap, you know, make sure you put a good title, good description, a link in your description, and good tags. Um, also, uh, make YouTube your number one priority of posting videos. And then we kind of talked about this briefly, but I encourage you not just to post your video to YouTube, but get your video also on your website so it can be viewed by, by everybody. And also email, you know, make sure you email your video out uh, to everybody in your contact list. And it can, if you don't have to have an elaborate template and everything when you're sending the email, you can just say, hey, check out this video. Something simple will get traffic as well. So um, here's my... Um, contact information, feel free to email, call me, uh, can answer any questions that you have. Also remember to register and watch the past episodes, the past webinars at directbusinessmarketing.com slash webinars. Um, I appreciate you, you know, joining me today and we'll see you next Wednesday, 10 a.m. Pacific time for another episode.